Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for coming to another round of Singles 101. I'm your host, Joey Cross, and I'm sure if you're here tonight, you know why. We, me and you, together, are going to find you the perfect match. Fortunately, we have three rounds to go and three hours to do it. What am I talking about? A speed dating scene. We're going to look at how we develop relationships through self-disclosure, through superficial information, down to the finest details of our lives. Um, the social penetration theory developed by Altman and Taylor back in 1973 posits that communication through self-disclosure and information about ourselves to others allow the formulation of relationships. Um, they also posit that it's a gradual cycle or a gradual movement from the superficial information or superficial things that we may know about each other just by looking at each other, um, physical appearance, what we may be wearing, or what we can assume about another person just based off of, you know, seeing somebody in real life. Um, and as we talk, as we discuss, as we have a conversation, we start to ask certain questions um, that peel back the different layers of our personality and the different layers of who we are as people. Um, and what we try to do through these conversations, we balance um, the pros and the cons or the rewards and the cost in if we want to spend time speaking or you know spending time talking and conversing with another individual. And we, we, we sort of pick up the, on that um, right away. Um, but the topics that we can discuss um, known as the breadth of the social penetration theory, um, also goes hand in hand or coincides with the depth, meaning how far we're willing to discuss the certain topics that we do bring up. So again, we're sitting at a table. We have our cute name tag on with the bell and the clock running um, with three minutes to get to know the person across from us. Obviously, in the speed dating situation or scenario, more than likely the person that we're interacting with is a stranger. Um, and most of the research that I found um, actually talks about relationship initiation, um, whether they turn into romantic relationships um, over time or not. They usually uh, uh, deal with the stranger or the first time meeting situation. So again, you're sitting at the table, um, John and Kate, for instance, um, just asking random questions, regular questions that you would talk that you would talk about. Um, and the social penetration theory also posits that you, when you meet somebody, you don't necessarily go and dive straight in. Um, it's rare that upon meeting somebody that you would ask, you know, something as heinous as how many sexual partners have you had right off the bat? Or how many years have you been married? Or have you been married uh, previously? Um, something that may break the iceberg in the initial interaction may be something, um, how's the weather? Or, you know, is that your favorite team if, if somebody's wearing a certain sports hat or sports coat? Um, and then as we get comfortable with each other, as we become less vulnerable, and as we relate to each other um, through breadth and depth, there's a greater emotional involvement and um, we typically find relational, relational satisfaction. Um, and social penetration theory also discusses or suggests that there's multiple levels um, to getting to know somebody. Again, you don't just meet somebody and jump straight in and know the very fine details of that person's uh, makeup. So you start on the outer layer. Um, and this, these layers that I'm uh, talking about are typical or metaphorically relatable to an onion, um, where the outer layers of the onion are the superficial information or, or the superficial things that we know about each other. And as we start to um, talk and converse and interact over time, you know, those layers begin to get peeled back and you learn more and you learn more about the individual that you're interacting with. Um, and it's different for, for, for different for different couples or different um, individuals that are relating. Sometimes, you know, in a speed dating situation, you can ask certain questions and, and press certain buttons and learn a lot about somebody very quickly and kind of hit it off and understand that, okay, this is somebody that I do want to develop a relationship with, where on the contrary, you may you may meet somebody and the first thing that they say is maybe too personal or um, they just turn you the wrong way with how they're talking to you. And right then and there, you already can weigh the pros and cons or the cost and rewards with that individual that, hey, hey, 
hey, nice meeting you, but I'm going to go this way and hopefully you go that way. Um, and that's what we find in our everyday interactions. There's some people that we meet um, that are strangers and they, they stay strangers. There's some people that uh, we meet as strangers and over the course of a week bumping into that person um, over and over and having repeated interactions with them that they may you know, become an acquaintance. Um, another level, they may go from being an acquaintance to, you know, we grab lunch every day and we're continuing that cycle of self-disclosure and information and uh, uh, personal information and facts and opinions and feelings on a deeper level. Um, over time, that person that you may be spending time with at lunch at work um, becomes your fiance, which then snowballs into them becoming your wife. Um, a lot of times when you see speed dating scenarios or you may hear of speed dating successes, um, you typically hear about couples who started out and were just talking about random things, just becoming friends. Um, and over time, you know, that person just became so close, so um, intimate with them that they ended up marrying them. Um, and again, this happens because of the social penetration theory developed by Altman and Taylor. Um, So yes, speed dating is, 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 is a great example um, and one forum that I chose to relate um, to get you to understand how uh, social penetration theory works. I mean, it, 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 you can go any which way with it. You can go from the parent-child um, relationship. You can go from the teacher-student relationship. Um, any relationship that we build or initiate um, goes through these various stages of interaction with um getting to know somebody over time through intimate relationships, starting with the superficial level and maybe reaching the core of that onion where you get to know the innermost secrets about, um, about another individual. So again, thank you for coming out. This was a wonderful workshop. Uh, I didn't want to get go too much in detail and scare you away from meeting your mate that you came here to meet, but um, have a great time and a great evening. And um, just remember that you may not fall in love with the person that you meet, that you meet today, but it's definitely um, an initiation to a relationship that may evolve um, based on the information that you guys share. Again, I'm Joey Cross, your host. Thank you, and have a great evening.